Hey guys, welcome to tartsstore.com. I am Ripon Dotto. Today I am going to discuss about C sharp constructor overloading. First of all, constructor. When a method name is same as its class name, then this method is called constructor. Constructor initializes the data members of an instance of a class. Here is an example. Point 3D is a class where it has three data members integer x, integer y, integer j and public point 3d this method name is similar to the class name so this method is called constructor how constructor is different from a method it has no return type and used for the creation and initialization of a class instances rather than a method has a return type so this method don't have any return type just public and the class name moreover constructor and method both can be overloaded so Constructor overloading. We can overload a constructor in C sharp if the number of parameters is different. A constructor can be overloaded in C sharp if the type of its parameters are different. So number of parameters should be different and types of parameters can also be different. If a constructor has same number of parameters but the left to right place of its parameters are different that means signature is different then it can be overloaded. So now let's get started with Visual Studio. Go to file menu, new project in the console application. Constructor overloading. Okay, so first of all, I want to zoom this editor. This is our main class, so I want to make another class which can be, um, let's say, employee. So private string first name string last name double salary now let's make a constructor employee first name so this first name equal first name this last name equal last name this salary equal default salary for example let's say zero so this is a constructor in this case this keyword is referred to the current object that means current class this employee that means this first name is referred to this first name not this one and this this first name variable is basically this one and last name is basically this one but whenever you, you are using this keyword in this case these variables are referred to the current instances current data members so this first name should be this one last name should be this one and salary is referred to this one 
okay so now we can create an object employee emp equal new employee for example my name first name all right so then we can print it um, console right line first name employee okay so in this case we need to add getter and setter so we can add getter and setter since these variables are private so we cannot use these variables from out of this class out of scope of this class public string get name it will return first name similarly public string or this is basically first name get first name last name or you can add um, middle name whatever you want this is a simple example return last name public double get salary okay so mp dot get first name then last name get last name salary equal get salary actually this should be method so we have to use this all right mm -hmm. now we can print control f5 yeah first name repon last name data and salary zero so we have created this emp object using constructor now we can overload it this constructor public employee string first name string last name but it will give you an error because this constructor and this constructor both are same why because because of uh, the signature this signature is same as this signature so we need to uh, we need to change it in arguments so we can use for example salary so this first name equal first name this last name equal last name this salary equal salary so we are now creating we are now just uh, overloading the constructor this employee and this employee is overloaded because uh, this constructor has 
different signature than this one hmm so we can now call another employee employee 2 new employee let's say will smith salary 80000 okay okay so similarly we can print this but in this case employee should be employee 2 now run the application yeah will smith salary 80000 so we can as we have this method already so we don't need to this initialization we can make this in another way which is this this means this current object first name last name so this will call this method with this parameter first name and last name this first name and last name comes from from here this first name is this one and this last name is this one okay so we can see the result control f5 yeah same result so even we can debug this application by pressing f11 f11 press f11 this is still now null null object it comes to this um, constructor because we are calling with the two parameter first name and last name only so first name it will come in this object this is string name first name similarly it will come here and by default salary null zero for the employee 2 it comes here because we are passing three parameter first name last name and salary and first of all it will call this this first name and last name that means this class name with first name and last name with two parameter that means this one so this first name is come first name and this last name comes with the last name so first name last name although it makes salary equal to zero but it will change it later salary should be 80,000 that's it now just printing so get the first name last name and salary and for this employee to get the first name last name and salary so that's it in this program i have discussed about constructor and constructor overloading um, Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the like button. If you have any comment, please comment in the comment box and make some positive comment. So I will be inspired to make more tutorials. Thank you.